Hi everyone, Michelle here, and we are going to be making these little bracelets, wristlets for your key ring. And it's a simple macrame stitch. What you'll need is your kit that will have two 90 inch long cords and a key ring as well as the instructions and watching this video will help. You're also going to need a tape measure or a ruler um, that's going to measure at least up to 14 inches because that's the first measurement we are going to use as well. And what you're going to do is you're going to unwind these cords and you're going to measure first with one cord we're going to measure down 14 inches so I need to separate the two cords. We are going to be using a lark's head knot to attach the cords to the key ring. If you've ever done macrame before, these are all stitches that you're going to be very familiar with. It's just the lark's head knot and uh, the standard macrame stitch. I think it's called like a type of square knot. I'm not sure. As you can see, this is hemp cord. It is, the one I'm using here is a little stiff. We also have some that's not quite this stiff. So basically I'm gonna measure down 14 inches. Make a fold. You're going to insert it through the hook. And what you're gonna want is you're gonna to wanna to be sure then on each side, the shorter cord is towards the inside. And once you put the loop through, you're going to reach through the loop, grab the two ends here, grab the two ends and pull them through that loop. Okay. And you'll see when I hold this up, I'm gonna do it, shall I do it one more time so you can see what we did. So I measured down 14 inches, bend that down to form a loop, inserted the loop through the key ring, folded the loop down, and then we're gonna pull these two ends through the loop. and tighten it. And you'll see I have the shorter one on the right side for now for this one. So that means when I make the second one, I'm going to measure down the 14 inches, make the bend, and this time I want to hold it the loop so the short side is on the left side and I'm going to put it through on the right hand side of the knot that I just made. That way the two short ends are on the inside. So I pulled the loop in. I'm going to take the two ends and we're going to put it through that loop. Pull them through. Oop, I caught the finished sample. So now I'm going to pull them down. So when you do this, you're going to tighten them up. You'll see these are the two, what's called a lark's head knot, two lark's head knots. The two shorter strands are here on the inside and your two longer strands are these two outside strands. Because these two longer strands are going to be our working, um, what we're going to be using to make the knots. So there are working threads and the two inside ones are the ones we're going to be working around. So I'm going to move the measure tape out of the way and what I find helpful when I'm making a piece of jewelry or something like this is something with a clip to hold it for me so it's not sliding around on me while I'm trying to tighten up the threads. You can use a chip clip, you could use 
I don't know, like a brooch or safety pin to fasten this to your pant leg or the arm of the couch or anything like that, where you can use um, like a clipboard like this. And I've also found that it is really handy to put that, see these clipboard has this little spike here. So I have found that it's really easy to put the loop over the spike and then clip it down because we're also going to leave, when we start making these loops, we are going to leave approximately half an inch. Let me show you, we're gonna make our first macrame knot about half an inch from these bottom of these lark's head knots to that very first stitch. So you're gonna leave some bare. And that's because when we loop this back up, we wanna have a clear space in which to work some extra stitches to cover everything and fasten it all together, the two ends together. So by using a clipboard, you know, you can use that as your measurement. If you have a clipboard handy, if not, again, you can use a chip clip to clip it to like a cutting board. Um, and I'm also using a little, uh, another little clip to clip it, the two strands at the bottom to hold those strands down. So the standard macrame knot is like a square knot around your two centers. And I know we've had macrame take and makes before, so you may be very familiar with that. One of the things that makes this easier as well as if you've got all these really long cords, you can fold them up like this to make them easier to work with. I don't have twist ties here at work. Hold on. Sorry, I had to cut the video. We had a phone call. As you can see, I'm having to film this while working the reference desk because um, don't have any time off desk right now. Um, so one of the things that you can do to make this a little easier since you've got such long cords is to fold them up into like little bundles. And if you have like bread twist ties or something like that at home, you can just do like a little twist tie around it. Um, unfortunately, you know, here at work, I don't have a twist tie. So we're just gonna have to try to keep our little bundles together. So the basic macrame knot, if you haven't done it before, is you're gonna take your bundle and go underneath the thread, there are two center threads, and I like to go up, crossing your other one over here. And then from this side, you're gonna go over the top and through this loop. And that forms like this little crisscross with one thread going underneath the knee and through a loop and one thread going over the top and through the opposite loop. And then you pull on the two ends and it will tighten them down. Now, the next time, you're gonna make your loops going the opposite way. So this time we're gonna use the right side first. It will go under and then up. And this one will go over and through the loop. And then you'll pull on the two ends and tighten it up. Let's do that one more time. So we're gonna go from the left it will go under and up. And then from the right side, we'll go over the top and through the loop. And you'll pull on both ends to tighten the knot. So this time it's gonna be right side first and it will go under and up. And this one goes over the top and through the loop and you pull on the two ends and you'll repeat this over and over again. Left side, right side, left side, right side. Um, and you'll see how it will alternate. You'll have like a little loop here and there'll be a loop here. I don't know if we can see this. Let's see if I can bring this closer. Here we go. So you see there's a little bar here and a bar here. So you can tell which one you did last 
because see this bar here is on this right side, so that means I made the right loop first. So this time it's time to make the left side loop first and go under and up. And this side goes over the top and through the loop. And then we pull the two ends. And you'll see here is the bar on this side. So now we're gonna do this one next. It's gonna go under and up. And this one goes over the top and through the loop. And you pull the two ends and tighten it up. So now we're going to just keep repeating this until this is approximately 10 inches long. And I'm gonna take this off and show you the gap that we left here at the top between the lark's head knot and our first macrame knot. So we're just gonna continue to make these little standard macrame knots all the way down, and I will come back and we'll show you how to loop it up and make the wristlet. Hi, I'm just checking back in, showing you the progress that I've got so far. Let's see where we are at. I've got about eight inches, so I've got a couple more inches to do, but I don't have much space left here at the end of my board. So like if you're using a cutting board um, or doing this on your couch, you can just undo your safety pin or your clip and move your project up further, clip it back down, um, make sure, um, in my case, I'm fastening the ends of that center down as well, clipping it to a piece. Um, it just makes it easier um, when you tighten to not have this flopping around. You can also use a piece of cardboard. You can cut a slot in the cardboard at the top that your ring or your uh, bracelet, wristlet will fit in, and you can cut a slot at the bottom that you can wedge these pieces um, up into in the cardboard. And it'll help, just like when you're doing like a friendship bracelet, if you've ever used the cardboard to weave a friendship bracelet. So I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna do, make some more of these standard macrame knots. And make one from this side through and up. So I'm gonna do this for two more inches. And then we will come back again and make it into a wristlet. So once we get our 10 inches done, you're going to want to fold it up your last made knot up to your first made knot and make sure your wrist will full go through here easily, comfortably. Just remember that as this gets wet and gets a weight of your keys on it, this is gonna stretch out a little more. So you wanna be sure that it's not too loose, um, that it's gonna stretch out and like fall off and uh, become a, you know not, not easy to use. So once we get it to the proper length. If you need to take some off, you can easily undo these to make it shorter if you need to. If you need to make it longer, just clip it back to your board or your piece of cardboard or whatever and continue working a few more stitches. So we're gonna take all four of our ends and pull them through that center key ring. Turn it over to the other side. Okay, you might wanna give a tug to your beginning so it will pull all this together. Line, make sure you line up that first knot with your last knot. Put the pieces together. Fold this over, keeping the two longer pieces to the outside of those lark's head knots. Fold the two short center ones down. And then you'll see one of these is a little bit longer than the other, and I'm gonna fold that up. And you'll see it's gonna create like a little loop here. So you wanna be sure to kind of keep that together because what we're gonna do after we do um, some more macrame knots here to cover around the whole thing, we're gonna put all of these three ends through this loop 
and we'll pull on the string and it's going to pull all those loops up inside the macrame that we're getting ready to do to bury those ends. And then you're going to add glue that will hold them all together. So now this part's a little tricky. You can use a clothespin <clears throat> or a clip to hold all of this together. Um, I'm going to put mine back on the clipboard and I'm going to clip it like right here at the top. Um, conversely, you know, it's like we could clip all of this together, you know, here if we wished. But I have found it's easier if I put it right back on the clipboard. So I'm just going to slide all of this right underneath here and clip it down. And you see here's the loop. So you want the loop and your center piece like all underneath. And now we're going to keep doing those same macrame knots that we have been. You're going to want to put everything together. Let me see here. Here we go. So I'm going to do this under and up. And this strand will go over the top and through the loop over here, just like we have been doing. But when we push them all together, we're going to make sure we cover everything. All of the loops, all of the lark's head knots, both sides of the cord are all tucked in there. And give it a good tug. So now we're going to make this from the other side going to go over, go, I mean under, over this strand here. This one's going to go over and through the top. And when we tighten, we want to make sure that all of these ends and the loop and everything are going to be captured. Okay. So you have to kind of keep pushing this stuff up, pulling the ends, giving it a good tug. I'm going to hold this up so you can kind of see. Let me see here. So it's going around the whole thing. So again, this one's going to go underneath everything. Crisscross. This one's going to go straight over the top through the other side. Captures the loop and the end and both sides of the cord. So now this one comes from this side, underneath everything, over this opposite loop. And you're gonna do this and it's gonna cover that half an inch that we had. So I'm gonna do one more. take these two ends here and then clip this and they're going to go through this loop actually let's see it might look nicer if they came from the bottom here through the loop This one's going to go through the loop, and the other side is going to come up through the loop. Make sure not to wrap it around the cord. So now, now that we've got everything, see, it has come through the loop. All right. So now I'm going to pull on the end of the loop here and you may need to go get a wrench or something uh, or pliers I mean to kind of help you pull that that through you'll see it's starting to get get stuck because it's pulling it through really tight let me grab a pen or something 
to kind of move those macrame knots that we did back down flat. Pull up on this again. Get those ends kind of really buried in there. This takes some hand strength. If you don't have hand strength, you may need to ask somebody to give you a hand. Okay. I'm gonna pull on it one more time. Okay. The further in we get those ends buried, the stronger this is gonna be. Okay. And you can put some glue on here, probably some fabric safe glue or some E6000 or something like that to kind of help it. You'll see your ends are all buried. So now what we're going to do is now we're going to clip these threads nice and short. Okay. And this is where you can put some glue on this knot to kind of help hold all that together. Some like fray check or something like that, some type of fabric safe glue, and you have a completed wristlet.